So today we're going to versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It's not here, but it's here. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to verse both of them. We're going to talk a little bit about both of them. See what one does better than each other and vice versa. And yeah, we're not going to, I'm not really going to compare both and tell you guys which one is bad, which one is good, which one is the best, whatever. But we're just going to put it head to head. And see what's going on there. So anyway, without further ado, before we get into the video, please subscribe, like the video, and also share the video as well. But yeah, let's get straight right into it. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is, of course, the biggest and the most expensive entry in the Samsung Galaxy S21 range. And of course, it has to have a competitor, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Apple's biggest and most expensive phone as well. These are both big, ultra-high-end smartphones, and both come with pretty much what you'd expect them to come including a top tier power and near near enough endless features but while they have a lot in common the specifics of what they actually offer also varies in numerous of ways so we're going to start off with the design of both of these devices the samsung galaxy s20 ultra has a slightly curved back glass with a very big <laughs> big large big big camera bump block on the top left corner of the back of the device from the front there is an O screen design with a curved with a with a curved edge and a single lens hole punch camera on the top center of the device the iPhone 12 Pro Max on the other hand is a lot flatter both on the front and the back and also has a glass back its rear camera block is smaller than the i brand than the Samsung than the Galaxy S21 Ultra which is a lot more a square shape and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra having a more rectangular shape for the camera module both phones actually weigh at the same amount which is coming in at 228 grams for each of the devices both handsets also have uh, one uh, IP68 um, certification meaning these these devices are actually dust and water resistance and as for colors the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is going to come in the performante black and the performante silver and if you're buying it directly from the Samsung website you can get the other different colors such as the brown and the navy and the titanium colors and then for the iPhone 12 Pro Max it's going to be available for the colors anywhere you buy it in the silver gold and the and the Pacific um, blue shade. And now talking about the screen, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is an enormous screen coming in at a 6.5 inch display and there's also a curved OLED screen with a with a 2K display where, and also has a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the iPhone 12 Pro, you're also gonna be looking at a big display as well coming in at a 6.7 inch. Um, so it's slightly smaller than the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, but I mean, it's pretty much the same size of screen. Your base is pretty much going to be the same viewing um, angles and viewing experience you're going to be getting with two with both of these devices. And the, Samsung, and the iPhone 12 Pro comes with OLED screen as well, but the display is flat and also comes in at a 12 with a 1200 and 84 times 278 pixel density and you're looking at about 515 um, pig, um, pig, pixel per inch on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and a 458 pixel density on the iPhone 12 Pro Max and also the iPhone 12 Pro Max is also still sitting on a 60 Hertz refresh rate. Now, moving along to the camera on both of these devices. So these two devices actually have a quad lens camera on both of the devices, but the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has a 108 megapixel um, um, lens in the camera and obviously a 12, um, a 12 megapixel um, ultra wide camera and of course a 10 megapixel telephoto lens in there as well and speaking for the iphone 12 pro obviously it's still remaining with the 12 megapixel um, cameras which i don't know why because it's been that for a very long time but 12 megapixel main camera 
Um, also 12 megapixel telephoto camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera there as well and also it's got the light the 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 lidar um sensor for obviously if you for ju for judging the depth and the distance of the image that's in front of you and for the front facing camera the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra actually has a 40 megapixel cam and front facing camera and the iPhone 12 Pro Max maxed out at 12 megapixel camera for the for the for the selfie camera now we talk about the battery life so the galaxy s21 ultra comes in at a big 5000 milliamp hour battery and the iphone 12 pro max sadly comes in at a 3687 milliamp battery but Nevertheless, both of these phones actually do support wireless charging and fast charging as well. And the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra going ahead to support wireless power share, which means you can actually um, charge wirelessly charge other people's devices or charge any other devices with a wireless charging capability on the device. So such as your Galaxy Earbuds, you can literally slap it on the back of the device and it will charge till it's full potential. So now guys, it gets to the juicy part, which is the specs on these devices. Both of the phones are very, very powerful, as you already know, and the specs do differ a little bit. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has, uh, well, has two chipsets. It, uh, it either has a Snapdragon, the Snapdragon 888 um, chipset or a uh, Exonic 2, 2100 um, chipset in there as well. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max has a A14 Bionic chipset in there as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So one of the newest um, chipset out there. And these three um, chipsets are mainly only for the newest um, devices from Apple and Samsung that has actually come out. So basically the iPhone 12 Pro Max and of course the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And also the Samsung Galaxy S21 coming in at a 12 gig RAM depending on which one you buy. So the 108, the 128 gigabytes and the 256 gigabyte will be capped out as a, a 12, um, 12 gig RAM and the 512 megapixels um, gigabytes um, storage version will be at 16 uh, be at 16 gig of RAM so depending on how much RAM you want then you have to upscale to a larger um, storage um, on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and for the iPhone 12 Pro Max we still have that 8 gig of RAM which uh, they need to really hurry up because we already have 16 gig of RAM on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is just absolutely fantastic. And for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, we also have a screen fingerprint scanner, well, an on-screen fingerprint scanner. And for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, we still have that Face ID, which is quite rapidly fast. <laughs> it's very, very fast, especially in the night, but in a pitch dark room for some reason, I don't know how it does it, but it can actually scan your face and actually unlock your device for you. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra cannot do that, especially in the night. You need some kind of form of light for it to unlock your phone through the facial recognition. And also the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra supports the S, the S Pen Stylus, which is absolutely wonderful. And also for the iPhone 12 Pro, it supports MagSafe accessories, which is so the, the thing you stick on the back of the of the device and it holds it on with a, a magnetic um, component which then you can store your cards in there and store whatever you need to store in there. And now the boiling question, the price and the availability of these devices. Obviously the availability is simple. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is out. You can literally go and buy it on Amazon, Craigslist, on, on the, in the shops, wherever, online. They're both out. You can purchase one of them, but there's a price to pay. On the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the starting price starts at 1000 um, one hundred and nineteen dollars and one thousand one hundred and forty nine pounds, and for the Samsung uh, and for this and for the iPhone twelve Pro Max, that's going to set you back at um one thousand um one thousand and ninety nine dollars or one thousand and ninety nine pounds, 
And yeah, that's the, the prices for both of these devices. As you can see, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is a lot more expensive than the iPhone 12 Pro, but it's more, it's less expensive than the than the Samsung Galaxy S20 um, lineup that came out last year, which could be good for some people, but I don't know. But yeah, anyway, guys, that's been the the verse against the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and the iPhone 12 Pro. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos. Turn on your post notifications. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.